Hello Humanites, this is Ash Robotics and I am Hari Shankar. I hope you guys are doing great. I know it's been a long time since our last video. Um, I got stuck with some personal work. <clears throat> Hereafter, I will try to upload more videos frequently. Uh, right now, we our current project is Quadash Robot. In the last video, we have seen how uh, our Quadash Robot works. Now, in this video, we are going to see how to assemble the robot. In the next video, uh, we will see how to uh, the full circuit connection and uh, and the coding part. Uh, in the future video, I am planning to add a Raspberry Pi with the Quadash robot. We will see. Without any further delay, let's dive into the video. Before that, if you did not subscribe the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for instant notification. Like and share the video. If you have any doubts or suggestion, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you. This is the complete 3D model of our Quadash robot. To get the 3D design, you can find the link in the description. You can use the default printer setting to print the Quadash parts. Layer height can be 0.2 mm and infill you can use the 20 percentage. These are the 3D printed parts. Let's see other components which we require for Quadash robot. 8 MG995 servo motors, 3 mm screws, 3 Raspberry Pi Pico Wi Fi module, and breadboard. To attach the Pico W module. Next, PCA9685 servo drive, LM2596 buck converter, 12 volt battery, jumper wires, few connecting wires, and a switch for on off. One end is connected to 12 volt battery and the other end is connected to buck converter. USB to micro SD cable to upload the program into Pico. And finally, tools. This is the main body parts mid part that we need to connect it with the bottom part of the robot. Use M3 10mm screw to connect both the parts. For time being, I'm using only few screws. You can use M3 screws to connect all the parts. This is the front side of the robot. Next, we can insert the MG995 servo motor for hip movements. Follow the video and you can insert the all four hip movement servos. After inserting the servo motor, use M3 10mm screw to fix all the servo motors. Now we can start assemble the leg. Insert the MG995 servo in leg main part. Now 
attach the back portion of the lid like I showed in the video. Now use the M3 10mm screw to fix both servo motor and back portion of the leg part. Now attach the bottom part of the leg and use M3 10mm screw to fix this also. And finally attach the small final part to the robot leg. As you can see, I have assembled the remaining legs, two for front and two for back. Now we can assemble the hip and leg joint. Assemble the joint as I shown in the video. Use M3 10mm screw to fix the parts. Now assemble the opposite side and fix it with the screw. As you can see I have assembled the remaining hip and leg joints. This is the initial position of the robot. It means all the servo motors should be in the 90 degree position. When we connect each servo motor at 90 degree, we will get the full 180 degree rotation. This is the simple diagram to set the servo angle. Here in this circuit, I have connected drives SDA to PCOS pin number 0 and SCL to pin number 1. Next, for power, connect drives VCC and V plus and connect it with the PCOS pin number 39, which is VCC, and drives ground pin to PCOS ground pin. I have connected to pin number 38. Next, for drives power supply, I have attached it with the 5 volt power supply. Once circuit is completed, press the boot button and insert the micro USB cable. Once Pico W is connected, open the Pico W U2F file and copy and paste it in the Pico's drive. Once you have pasted the file, the window will automatically close and the Pico W will start to boot. Click on the terminate button if the Pico W is not automatically loaded. As you can see now, the Pico W module is loaded now. Now connect the power supply to the PCA9685 servo drive. To check whether the servo drive is connected or not, execute the I2C address finder 515. As you can see in the console, you can find the I2C address of the servo drive module. Now we need to set the servo angle to 90 degree to connect hip and leg. Open the PCA9685 sample python file. To make sure whether it is working or not, I am just changing the angle to 0 and execute the program. Now connect the servo motor in 0 pin. As you can see the servo motor is working and it is in 0 degree. Now change the angle to 0 degree and execute the program. It's working and now the servo motor is in 90 degree position.
Now fix the 3D printed servo horn. Make sure the servo horns are straight. If the servo horns are not straight and it is fixed with cross angle, we won't be getting proper movement. Once you fix the servo horn, now we can fix the hip and leg joint. Make sure you assemble the joint properly as I shown in the video. Once the joint is attached, use M3 10mm screw to fix it. Similarly, we can do it for other hip and leg joints. As you can see, now we have attached all the hip and leg joints. Now we can attach the legs. You can follow the similar steps. Set the servo angle as 90 degree and fix the leg with the hip joint. Now we have attached all the legs. Now pull all the servo wires into the main body part.
Once all the wires are pulled, use top cover of the robot and fix it with the M3 10mm screw. Now this is how the final quadash robot will look like. In the next video, we will see the full circuit diagram and the coding part. Thanks for watching.